but it is our Christmas show that we're doing, brought to you each and every Wednesday by Hunt Regional Healthcare and an awesome discount wheel and tire. This morning, we are going to be have guests, and I think the first question of our guests is, what does Christmas season really mean to you? Hello, I'm Sylvia Peace with Greenville Fire Rescue. Well, the Christmas season means to me is family. Family is my go-to for everything. So um, the Christmas season is is all about getting together with my family and trying to um, just be together and enjoy each other's company and, you know, catch up on everything that we miss throughout the year. Um, Fortunately, we have Facebook, but it's not the same. So hopefully we get to be together this Christmas um, and kind of get to catch up on on the, the wonderfulness of being together. Hi, I'm Summer Spurlock with the City of Greenville. Uh, I think the number one thing that means being able to celebrate um, the birth of Jesus Christ, and I think my eight-year-old said it best when he said, um, when is Jesus' birthday party that we get to celebrate? Because he's all about parties, and when he he has a birthday in January, so his is right after um, uh, Christmas, so he he really makes it like it's Jesus' birthday party. So that's really kind of what it means, I think, the main thing. And then... And then being able to get with family, um, spend time with them, and be able to, you know, just slow down for a minute. You know, coronavirus has taught us to slow down, you know, and and really enjoy family. And I think for me, that's what it means is just, you know, just kind of put everything else that's busy on, on the back burner for one day, enjoy your family, be with them, and, you know, just enjoy it. So that's really what it means to me. Hi, I'm Gabe Medina with Makerspace Greenville and producer of Friendly News. I'm a little conflicted. Yes, uh, Christmas means the birth of our Savior and, um, you know, the, the ability for us to, to be saved through Jesus Christ. That part's awesome, and I get it. But my birthday and my sister's birthday are right after Christmas, and we always had to celebrate it together, so it was a little contentious at best. Hi, my name is Jeff Landers, and it is my privilege to serve as an education specialist with Women in Need. Uh, The the Christmas season really is the um, being amazed once again uh, by the mystery that the eternal Son of God became man. Uh, So as John the Apostle writes, the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So uh, just being awed at and then celebrating that mystery. Hey guys, I'm Pam Veers with the Greenville Parks and Recreation Department. Um, The Christmas season means uh, a lot of giving, giving to others who are less fortunate and just kind of gathering with the family and um, spending time with them and just kind of, you know, being thankful for um, what Jesus did on the cross for all of us. Hi, I'm Holly Wilson with Splash Kingdom Family Water Parks. Christmas to me is a time to um, be thankful and um, not focus so much on the gifts. It is about spending time with people and showing your appreciation for them, but also just your appreciation for, you know, us being on this earth and being blessed with the opportunities to get together and, you know, just live this life. Hi, I'm Bridget Saxton with the City of Greenville. Christmas season to me is patience and love and kindness and peace. Peace most of all. Hi, I'm Tarek and I'm with Autodoc Tire Pros right here in Greenville, Texas. Christmas season means everything about family. We genuinely celebrate Christmas for the birth of Christ and all the gifts that he's brought us as opposed to us giving each other gifts. That is what Christmas means to me. We literally celebrate the birth of Christ like it's supposed to be. Hi, I'm Rose Hayden with Hemp Regional Healthcare. The Christmas season means to me family. I found that as my kids got older, it actually changed a little bit. And now it's about nostalgia, thinking about when they were young, thinking about when I was young. And so it's just sort of that time to look back and reflect over those happy memories. Hi, I'm Kaylina Crossley with United Way of Hunt County. Christmas season means to me celebration of my Lord Jesus Christ. We can celebrate his birth and his life all at one time. I love the season because you can be with family and you can all celebrate together. Hello, I'm Jimmy Vaughn, pastor of Authentic Life Fellowship here in Greenville. Christmas to me is when the world, I hate to use the word forced, but the world recognizes that there's something unique 
about Christmas. Now, whether they recognize it as the incarnation of the Savior or not, that's the individual. But the whole world slows down, has a central focus, and uh, I think the world's a little nicer at Christmas. Hi, I'm Lauren Mixon with Abba's House Greenville. I guess the Christmas season, while being a pastor, you think along religious lines, but it's become a lot more than that. It's become a place where you feel like you start to know people and uh, people that don't have as much. You're made a lot more aware of that. And this year has been especially that. We've just been made aware a lot more of people that don't have. And uh, it's more of a Thanksgiving kind of Christmas because we've learned how to give. And that's probably what the Christmas season means to me the most now. I am Kelly Aiken. I am the district court judge for the 354th Judicial District Court for Hunt and Rains County. Well, the Christmas season is all about, um, in our family, and I hope in every family, the celebration of the birth of Christ and the opportunities that God has provided us to seek salvation through His Son. I pray that we all take time to remember Advent and to celebrate it accordingly and spend time in the Word in the season. I know it's all about family for a lot of people, and. And I certainly love spending time with my family, but that also includes my church family and the people that um, have similar beliefs and ideas that I have and that also know that we have one true Savior and that we're all here because we have the opportunity to serve Him. I'm uh, Tom Davis. I'm the current president of the Greenville Golden K Kiwanis Club here in Greenville, Texas. Well, the Christmas season for me is is all about family. I have four grandkids and, and they just infuse Christmas into our family. Uh, luckily, they, they I'm very close to my grandchildren and uh, we just have a great time through the Christmas season. Starting in Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, we go cut a Christmas tree. And from there till after, the, after Christmas, when we take the Christmas tree down, uh, it's all about Christmas. Hi, I'm Demetrius Ligon, superintendent for Greenville Independent School District. Christmas to me really means it's a time for family to come together. Uh, it's a time to celebrate um, the birth of our Savior and to really just have an opportunity for children to be children and to enjoy the magic of the season. It's my favorite time of year indeed. Hello, my name is John. I'm the pastor at Calvary Chapel here in Greenville, Texas. Christmas is definitely weird from what we see in the Bible to what we see in society. The problem that we have is we've put in the wrong emphasis in the wrong place of the Bible. The emphasis, I mean, you, if you take the Bible from Genesis 1, 1 to Revelation 22, 21, what do you see? The emphasis, the theme, the whole thing is Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the coming King, and all that. And the probably the pinnacle of everything in there was the crucifixion, the resurrection, and, and that's what we see because that's what takes away the sin in the world. And that's a hugely important. And for whatever re strange reason, the Western civilization has put the emphasis on the birth. Now, here's where that's kind of important though. Without the birth of Jesus Christ, without the virgin birth, without the fulfillment of all the prophecies that you see from way back in, I mean, if you look from Genesis all the way to Malachi, it's prophecy of Jesus coming. From Genesis chapter 3, all the way, again, all the way up to Malachi, you just see Jesus throughout the entire of the Old Testament. And if it wasn't for the birth of Jesus in the way that it was, fulfilling prophecy to the, the virgin mother Mary, then you wouldn't have the Messiah who could then die on the cross for your sins. The the Christmas story, the, the, how does Christmas mean to me? Uh, so that's important to understand the, uh, the where does Jesus come from as far as from his human uh, from, the, from the human standpoint the, the the side of him that's human, if you will. It's important to see how that he enters the stage so that we understand that he can be the Messiah. So from from that aspect, Christmas is huge. It's important. Now we've turned it into something crazy, but it, it doesn't even actually show to be or look anything like what the Bible says. For me, Christmas is really the focus of Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Kevin Banks and I'm with the city of Greenville. Christmas season to me is all about family, friends, love, uh, and the birth of our Savior. Uh, it's such a happy time. 
and I always look forward to this time of year every year not only just the decorations but just the love and and the outpouring of of compassion that people seem to have during this time of year I'm Lori Cope Casa for Hunt County the Christmas season to me means family I mean, it's just being around family and enjoying each other, laughing, and just having a good time. Hi, I'm Renee Franci. I don't really know how to answer the question. I mean, because it never really had a value because of the monetary thing about it. Because, you know, Christmas is all about presents and what did you get for Christmas and what's under your tree and the showing off of all of the gifts, and to me there was a lot that was, I was yearning for something different. It was a depressive time of the year, very depressing, dark. And I figured it out when I decided to quit worrying about gifts. I quit worrying about presents, I quit worrying about if I want to buy you something, I'm going to buy you something. I'm not waiting for a day to do it. I don't think that life is as long as we think it is. And to wait for a date to give something spectacular to me is wasting. It's a waste because you drive up on an accident and you don't know that that person is going to go home and they could have had vacation plans. and. You wait for Christmas to get your, get your kids that PS5 or 6, whatever's out nowadays, that they've been wanting, and then something happens and they're not there. You can't give it to them. So Christmas became more about what it was supposed to be about. It was supposed to be about Christ. It was supposed to be about His birth. And in the words of Linus, <laughs> I guess, this is probably the way it defines to me the most is, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. <laughs> so I guess that probably sums it up the best for me. Hi, I'm Randy with Henley Auto Supply. And I'm Gina with Henley Auto Supply. Uh, well, the Christmas season means to me is it's our time to uh, worship uh, and cherish uh, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christmas for me is about the birth of Jesus. It's also about the smiles on the little kids' faces when they get to open their presents. But most of all, it's being with your friends and family, especially the ones that you don't get to see very often. Hi, I'm CJ Crawford. For me, the spirit of Christmas, I guess the word would be forbearance. It is an indication of what life might be like if we all obeyed the commandment to love our neighbor all the time instead of just at the holiday season. We tend to give people a, a little bit of a break at the Christmas time to, to let people cut in line or, you know, when somebody runs into you and say, oh, gee, I'm sorry, you know, things like that. And, and we don't do that all year round. And that to me is that commandment to, to love thy neighbor as thyself. So. Christmas is just a little indication of what we could have uh, if we just worked a little bit harder. Hi, I'm Kim Chandler with Hope Changes Everything. It's about celebration, celebrating the birth of Jesus, um, that He came, He left all His glory, and came here to be one of us, to share, um, to get, let us know about Him. Hello, I am Heather Prather with The Hometowner. Christmas is a celebration of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without Him, where would we be? And we celebrate His birth and coming to this earth years and years ago. Hello, I'm John Turner with the Disabled American Veterans, Chapter 81, Greenville, Texas. The Christmas season to me is family, friends, and the observance of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Tiffany Chapman with Quinlan ISD. The Christmas season to me means joy and happiness and so many different things that come together as far as family and that sort of thing. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. What a great compilation of guests that we have today. 
What does the Christmas season mean to you? Drop that in the comments. We are so thankful for this show, for Coffee, Tea, Friendly, and Me, and the ability to get to come to you each and every week. We'll be right back after this commercial break. You guys, make sure to stay tuned. Grab you some coffee, tea, and maybe some eggnog, and come on back with Friendly and Me. At Hunt Regional Healthcare, providing the highest level of care is our priority. That's why patients trust us with their health. From our expansive list of services to our highly trained medical staff, we work hard to bring you the latest advancements in care, comfort, and cutting edge technology. We're more than just a hospital. We're a therapy center, a sleep lab, a cancer facility, and more. We do more with more because our patients deserve nothing less. Wow, that was awesome. All of our guests right now, I think they're really primed and really to do a great thing here on the show today. This is CTFM, Coffee, Tea, Friendly, and Me, brought to you each and every Wednesday by Hunt Regional Healthcare and Discount Wheel and Tire. Now, the next question that I have is, do you have a favorite Christmas song? We're going to be asking that of the guests here on CTFM. I have many favorite Christmas songs, um, but uh, Walking Win or Winter Wonderland is one of my favorites. Chestnuts Roasting Over an Open Fire, which is that the Christmas song. That's the that's what it's called. Um, that's one of my favorites. Um, a lot of the old uh, gospel type, um, you know, just like Oh Holy Night, um, and then of course the fun ones. You know, Rudolph. You can't beat Rudolph. <laughs> so I really just have to pick one. Uh, you know, there, you know, we always, of course, my oldest son, he's 12. He really hates that the radio stations start playing Christmas music like in November because he says it's too early. Um, but my eight year old, he loves Christmas music, so we listen to it as soon as we possibly can. Um, so I guess the one that really comes to mind and like that I know probably every single word to would be Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It's always a good song, so it's fun. When I was a kid, we sang in the Christmas choir uh, for kids. And uh, I remember this part of the song that uh, m they have it recorded somewhere. It's, a, you know, in storage, I'm sure, where I was sitting there singing. Our fathers, 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 fathers. And then it went on forever. But uh, that's the, the song that I cling more to uh, when I'm thinking about all the good Christmas stuff. So that's it's a very joyous time for me because my dad was sitting in the audience and he didn't usually come to church but every once a year so that was that was pretty impressive that uh that he was there always for all that kind of stuff yes if i could offer two answers to that first if we're thinking in terms of a christmas hymn oh holy night uh, would be my favorite if we're thinking more of a contemporary christmas song uh, have yourself a merry little christmas especially the rendition by kenny g so when I thought about this question, what popped in my mind was Jingle Bells, which I think is just because it's really catchy and easy to learn. So I think Jingle Bells is my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> my favorite Christmas song is Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. I think I'm biased. My favorite Christmas song is probably gonna be Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. I have a favorite Christmas song and it is Away in a Manger. And you almost never hear that on the radio. Um, it's a song, it's so beautiful but you never hear it. So my request, more away in the manger. My favorite Christmas song is Mary Did You Know. I love that song. It brings everything to light about who he is and what he did. And it just gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. I do have a favorite Christmas song, but I'm not gonna give you the answer you would expect everyone else to give you. When I was a child, my family went on a family ski trip to New Mexico, and we had a large family. We had a pool behind trailer. My brother and I lost the, uh, the toss, and so he and I got to sleep in our 12-passenger van instead of in the trailer. And while we were in the van, we were listening to the radio, and the only station we could find was a Spanish radio, and they played Feliz Navidad. And so that's my one of my favorite Christmas songs because it takes me back to that night in that van so many years ago. And I think Freddie Fender's. My favorite Christmas song has got to be Pentatonix, Mary Did You Know, because it tells such a story. It tells such a story of not just the birth, 
but the story of Christ and what he came here to do. And so that's probably my favorite Christmas song. How Great Thou Art is my favorite Christmas song. Um, mainly because I have really vivid memories still of my grandfather singing this song as I grew up when I was little. Um, I would go to church with them whenever we flew in or came in from um, whatever base we were assigned to for holidays. We would hang out with my grandparents and they always took us to this very small church in Mount Enterprise um, and he was huge. My grandpa was uh, to me the tallest man I'd ever seen or heard. Um, he was a Marine and he had these um, long, huge arms and he would just scoop me up and carry me into the church and plop me down right next to him. And I can remember in awe just standing there and looking up at him as he sang the song. Um, it still makes me tear up thinking about it. Um, and when I hear it, I hear his voice every time. My favorite Christmas song is basically just about anything from the movie White Christmas. Uh, I just love that movie. We watched that movie probably four or five times during the Christmas season. Uh, if you pick the song, of course, White Christmas is in it. Uh, I guess one of my favorite songs in that, that series is the song about snow. You know, the, the, the four of them harmonizing in the, in the snow, or har harmonizing about the snow, uh, is probably my favorite song of that, of that movie. My favorite Christmas song is Mary Did You Know? Um, and there's several artists who have done renditions of it. Um, I just love the spirit of the song and it really, it talks about the, the miracle of life and what we all can become. Obviously, you know, we're not going to walk on water and heal blind men as, as the song states uh, that Jesus did, but it just talks about the potential that a birth has um, and what a child can be. So, um, and it's just, I, I, and I just love the song. I get emotional every time I hear it. So my favorite Christmas song, and I can almost guarantee that no one else will have this, is from Handel's Messiah. It's one of the, to me, it's one of the great Christmas songs alive. And it's called, For Unto Us a Child is Born. It comes off of Isaiah 9, 6, 9, 7. If you, if you're listening to the entirety of the Messiah, it actually is basically talking about Jesus through the entire thing. But in that particular song, it basically just sings out prophecy. It sings out scripture. And if you can sing that song, most people can't, but go search it out and find it. But then you just start learning Bible through that song and it's about the birth of Jesus. You know what, I'm gonna get haters on this, but my favorite Christmas song, honestly, is Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You. <laughs> I love that one. Every time I hear it, I'm like, yes, Christmas is right around the corner. I cannot limit myself to one song. I'm a song person. I won't sing all of my favorite songs, but the two songs that really, one spiritual, my favorite is, Oh Come All Ye Faithful, and those lines of, Come Let Us Adore Him, are my favorite ones to really belt out. But my favorite one to dance around to is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. I do, actually. When I saw that that was gonna be one of the questions that you were gonna ask, I really thought about that because I love music. And how do you pick one song when there's hundreds of songs out there that talk about so many things? There's upbeat and fun, and um, but there's this one song by Trisha Yearwood, and it, it's just it has so much power to it. But it, it says every night another TV special, merchandise count merchant merchants counting down the shopping days, but something's missing underneath the tree. I take a walk. Because every heart longs for more than tinsel. Something more than just a holiday. Come and celebrate the baby king. Let's take a walk. You don't have to travel anywhere. Faith and hope and love will bring you there. Take a walk through Bethlehem. Come and kneel before the Lamb. Good news for every man. Take a walk through Bethlehem. That's my song. Well, my favorite Christmas song uh, is probably Jingle Bell Rock or Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Of course it would be. <laughs> uh, my favorite Christmas song is Mary Did You Know? And probably my second favorite would be Little Drummer Boy. 
Okay, so that's a that's a good question for me. I uh, and I'm going to do a quick shout out. I belong to a coral society, the Northeast Texas Coral Society, and because of that, I get an opportunity to sing a whole bunch of Christmas songs that are not common. So I have two favorites right now, and that might change because I'm always discovering new music. But my very favorite at the moment is called the African Star Carol. Um, a lot of people may not know that. And then the other one is um, a Christmas Candle, A Candle's Light. And I, uh, in case you haven't heard both of those, I brought them both for you just so you can have them later. <laughs> yes, Joy to the World. It's my favorite because it's a joyful time. It's a time of celebration and a time to celebrate his birth. I love music, any and everything music, and I love Christmas music. This year especially, I started really early because I felt like we needed joy earlier this year. So I would have to say probably my favorite Christmas song is Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. I've got about eight or ten of them. Not sure which is the best. I think Oh Holy Night is right up there with the best of them. That's probably Silent Night is my favorite Christmas song. What is your favorite Christmas song? For me, it's Mary Did You Know. Drop your favorite Christmas song down in the comments. We've had some great guests share what theirs were. Some were quite surprising, as a matter of fact. But I want to know, what is your favorite Christmas song? And we thank you so much for watching today. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Are you tired of those big chain tire dealers giving you the runaround? Are you not getting the customer service you deserve? If not, call me and I will wrench the competition. Come see us at Discount Wheel and Tire at 4609 Wesley and Greenville. Discount Wheel and Tire, and we will get you all that you deserve. Wow, unbelievable. Some of the songs, I had no idea that that was going to be their favorite Christmas song. So here's the, here's what's coming next. It's CTFM. It's Coffee, Tea, Friendly, and Me, brought to you again by Hunt Regional Healthcare and Discount Wheel and Tire and Valvoline Express. Now, here's the question that uh, we're going to be asking our guests next. What food or drink is a must for you this winter or for Christmas? What a question, and I know it's going to be some awesome answers. Eggnog apple cider, Mexican hot chocolate. Um, those are all some of my favorites. During the winter season, it have to be hot chocolate. You gotta have hot chocolate, whether you're spending it inside, you're spending it outside, you're spending it by the fire. I can have it with my kids, and so I think really just hot chocolate's a must have. You're gonna have to do the virgin eggnog. Yep, I, I can't stand the alcoholic version, even if I were a big drinker, but even still, the eggnog is awesome. A honey baked ham. Uh, must have food for the winter season for me is tamales. Um, that just really reminds me uh, back at home when we used to have that with my grandparents. And so tamales is a must for Christmas and just for the holiday season. For the winter season, I like hot apple cider. We used to always get it from the Christmas tree farms and now they make those packets so you can just make it at home like hot chocolate. And so I do that pretty regularly whenever it's cold outside. I would say eggnog, but I really do love hot buttered rum. It's good to have right before bed. Gotta have the hot tea, especially when it's cold. As far as the food, it is uh, anything my mom cooks, but now actually she's a little older, so she doesn't cook anymore, so my brother-in-law takes over. And he cooks a lot. Of, he's Mexican, but he cooks a lot of the, all the Middle Eastern food you can think of. Genuine, authentic Middle Eastern food, compliments of my mother teaching him. Now my favorite Christmas food are the iced Christmas cookies. My grandmother had a wonderful recipe. I still think it's the best recipe that I've ever tried. My mother used to make them. I now make them. They're a lot of work. I always say I'll make them more times a year than just at Christmas, but I never do. They're so worth the trouble though. They're wonderful and I enjoy them and put little red hots on them too, because that's the fun part about the Christmas cookie. My must have food for winter is chili and cornbread. <laughs> I love chili and cornbread. My husband makes great chili. Um, and we have uh, homemade cornbread all the time with it. So we really enjoy that. We have a, a wood burning stove and we just cuddle down and eat some chili and cornbread. Okay, uh, for winter, 
I mean, because I'm a drink, coffee drinker all the time. Uh, the, the, the must for Christmas for me is peppermint, chocolate peppermint bark. That is, got to do it. And it's, it says Christmas for me. You know, I, I can think of a lot of things, but my mind immediately goes to ham because I'm kind of a protein kind of guy. So I think ham's something that you have to have at Christmas. Oh, um, my must have food or drink is pretty much always water. I'm a big water person now. Um, but my granddaughter has certainly discovered all of a sudden hot chocolate and she is fascinated with it. Therefore, I am fascinated with it because I want her to be interested in whatever we're doing. And so um, this season, I think, in addition to my general drink of water that I have every time I go um, anywhere, will be the opportunity to share making memories with her of having hot chocolate with her and uh, seeing whatever different ways we can make it and enjoy it together. Well, a must-have drink. If you're talking about a Christmas drink, I'm I'm talking about like, but uh, just um, oh, uh, a warm hot chocolate, something of that nature. Just basically anything warm during the winter is good. Of course, I'm, I'm a big coffee drinker, so coffee's going to be in there. But I guess uh, ch hot chocolate would probably be the the big one for for winter food. I, of course, I'm. If, as you can tell, I'm probably not very particular about food, <laughs> but uh, I guess I, my favorite food for Christmas, like Christmas lunches and things like that, is pecan pie. Uh, I love pecan pie. Um, just about any any Christmassy food, ham, turkey. I mean, you probably about name it. I'll eat it. I I I, I cut the cut it at liver. I don't really like liver. Um, uh, it has to be, uh, well, food or drink, it has to be hot if it's a drink. Um, I, anything really with peppermint kind of tastes Christmassy, so that, that's really good. Um, I don't really have a, a food. I remember one year, um, Vaughn, my son, and I, we made peppermint barks, um, but then that, there's the peppermint again. But um, any, anything hot, chocolatey with peppermint is perfect for Christmas. The food or drink that I'd have to have for wintertime, and I would say wintertime because I don't, I don't apply anything to Christmas, but it's gonna definitely have to be hot chocolate. And I mean, just like way too sweet, way too much of the chocolate powder in there, whatever it is, but it has to be that. I'm talking about a cup of diabetes. That's what I want for Christmas or for the winter season. You know what? It's not Christmas unless I have my mom's Chex party mix recipe and I could eat the whole big bucket full of this stuff. And I know a lot of people have variations on it, but my mom's recipe is the one I grew up on and my favorite. And, and that says Christmas to me more than anything. You must, you must have hot apple cider. <sighs> a food or a drink that's a must have for the winter holidays. My husband's grandmother came to visit us in 2005 and had this recipe for eggnog. And it was, I'd never had eggnog before that. So that has become a family tradition is grandma's eggnog. Yeah, as far as food goes now, I don't really have anything. Nothing really stands out. I guess chili, I mean, if it's cold, you know, you want chili, but yeah, nothing else really stands out. Well, my favorite food or drink would be hot apple cider. And of course, some uh, hot cherry pies and apple pies. My favorite food or drink would be hot cocoa or eggnog and banana nut bread. Okay, so for winter or for Christmas, I was thinking Christmas, there I have two things that, that only come around at Christmas, and I don't know why. One of them, of course, is eggnog. You can't really find that any other time of the year. Um, but my absolute favorite cold weather drink is hot apple cider. Hot chocolate with whipped cream is a must for me. And because chocolate is, chocolate is just wonderful <laughs> to have at any time of the year. I love coffee year round, uh, especially at Christmas and you can put different flavors in it. But my very favorite food at Christmas is these little um, peanut butter and Hershey Kiss uh, cookies my mom always made growing up so my mom and myself and my son will spend a day making them and we will eat them until our hearts content for Christmas 
I'd have to say a nice baked ham and iced tea. Unsweet. Because you're sweet enough. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, Christmas time always brought joy and a turkey and dressing. And um, I love turkey and dressing. I love pecan pie. And I love everything that comes with the holiday season. Hey guys, what is your favorite food or drink? for the Christmas season, or even just for winter. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Need a part for the right price? Look for that red and blue sign. Henley Auto Supply at 1510 Stonewall. Over 800,000 CarQuest parts to choose from. Domestic, European, and Asian parts. Henley Auto Supply at 903-455-1969. 455-1969. Henley Auto Supply has the right part to keep your vehicle running and backed by the best hometown service. Henley Auto Supply. Great people, great products, great prices. Henley Auto Supply and CarQuest. Well, we are back. It is CTFM, Coffee, Tea, Friend, and Me, brought to you each and every Wednesday morning by Hunt Regional Healthcare and Discount Wheel Entire. And, you know, the questions that have been asked this morning are just unbelievable. You know, what does Christmas mean to you? And, and what Christmas favorite Christmas song? Or what food is, is for Christmas or the winter you'd like? And this next question that we're going to be asking guests this morning is, if you could have a Christmas wish, what would it be? What would it be? And drop all your comments that uh, in, in the, below in the, in the link so that uh, everybody can see. And all I can say is keep it in your stocking. Oh, my Christmas wish would be for coronavirus to go away. I'm sure everybody's going to say that. But that is, ah, if we could just get it get it under control where we can all get to, to being back with each other and, and enjoying each other. Um, right now, it's just so hard to be apart from family. Um, and just, if it would just go away, it would be amazing. Um, not going to happen anytime soon, but that's what, that's what my wish is. I'm Sylvia Peace. Merry Christmas from Greenville Fire Rescue. One Christmas wish would just be that everybody could just enjoy it the way it's meant to be enjoyed, you know, not, you know, about presents and not about, you know, having the hustle and bustle of having to shop and cook for everybody and all that. Just my one wish would be for everybody to just sit down and enjoy it and have a good, have a good time. Uh, I'd like to w wish everyone a Merry Christmas uh, from the city of Greenville. So if I had a Christmas wish, it would be that my closest friends and family would come to know the um, the love and uh, grace that comes with um, being a child of God. I mean, uh, sincerely, I my heart aches for those that that won't won't accept uh, that the sacrifice that He had on the cross. And so, if it's if I had one Christmas wish, it would be to to leave this world knowing that I did everything that I could uh, to to be a light to those people in my life. I am Gabe with Makerspace Greenville, producer of Friendly News, and I wish you a Merry Christmas. My Christmas wish would be that the special needs kids that my wife and I and I are raising uh, would um, experience uh, success uh, in their education uh, and enjoy the riches of the blessings that we have in fellowship with God in Christ. My name is Jeff Landers with Women in Need, and I hope that you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. Um, if I could have one Christmas wish, it would be, right now the only thing that pops in my head would be just for everybody to be healthy and um, for us to be able to have a better new year. I think everybody has had a rough year and I just want everybody to um, have a better year next year. So I think that would be my wish. I'm Pam with the City of Greenville Parks and Recreation Department and I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. I think my Christmas wish would be to have uh, more weenie dogs. We only have one and um, I'm told that we can't have any more right now but I'm working on it. So I guess that would be my Christmas wish, be to have you know four or five more little Winnie dogs running around. I'm Holly Wilson with Splash Kingdom Family Water Parks, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Goodbye, coronavirus. That would be my Christmas wish. And all the effects it's had on people. Hi, I'm Bridget Saxton 
We wish you a Merry Christmas from all of us at the City of Greenville. Health. Health. Health for everybody, especially after this year. My name is Tarek. I'm with AutoDoc Tire Pros in Greenville, Texas, and I wish everybody the best and the merriest Christmas ever. If I could have a wish for Christmas, it would definitely be for people to have peace in their heart, to believe in the golden rule, to treat others as you'd like to be treated. I think we've stepped away from that a little bit, and so that is my Christmas wish to everyone. Merry Christmas. I'm Rose Hayden with Hunt Regional Healthcare. Merry Christmas to everyone. My Christmas wish for this year for people is to concentrate on the positive. Concentrate on your blessings and the grace and mercy that you've been given this year. I know we've had a hard year. We haven't been able to be normal by any means. But you just, I wish that everybody would remember that our Christ Jesus is the same all the time. And he's with you all the time. Hi, I'm Kaylina Crossley with United Way of Hunt County. Have a very Merry Christmas. It's pretty easy. And I think it's probably what everyone else would have, wellness. My name is Jimmy Vaughn, and I'm the privileged pastor of Authentic Life Fellowship here in Greenville. And I wish you and yours a wonderful Christmas season and new health, new strength, and new opportunity as we turn the page into the new year. There's a lot of pat answers for that, but I think that deep in my heart, the wish that I would have it is that more people would be aware that there's people less fortunate than you, no matter what your situation is, and that you help someone that's a little bit less fortunate than you. Hi, I'm Lauren Mixon with Abba's House, and I wish each of you a peaceful and joyful Christmas. Well, I have a selfish one, and then I have one that is the one that I think we should all have, which is for this coronavirus to be over, um, for the period of isolation from the people we love to end, and for all of us to have an opportunity to share time, valuable moments with people that we care for and that we enjoy, and even with strangers, um, the opportunity to visit with people and have conversations with them. I pray that we all have that end soon, and um, it's, a, it's a fond prayer right now to the Lord that the coronavirus would be resolved and that we would move on and move on in a positive manner as a society. Um, my selfish personal uh, Christmas wish um, every year is the same and um, we have lost in our family a lot of our beloved family members around the holidays and so um, every Thanksgiving starting in Thanksgiving all the way through Christmas um, I spend my time a lot of time thinking about those that we've lost that aren't here with us um, that have set a path for us that none of us ever could have imagined and that has provided us a foundation of faith in our family. Um, first uh, would be my great uncle who had Down syndrome and passed away when I was a young child, when I was still in high school. Um, and I adored him and miss him greatly. His name is Chipper. And um, also my grandfather who passed away when my son was a month and a half old um, at Christmas. And my father who passed away um, right after Christmas, he lived long enough to celebrate with my sister and I for just a short period of time before he passed away. And um, I treasure those memories. They're hard at Christmas time. I treasure them. I'm grateful for them. But every year I spend time in the holidays remembering them and, and wishing I had a moment with them more. My name is Kelly Aiken. I am the district court judge for the 354th district court for Hunt and Rains counties. And um, it's my fondest wish that you have a beautiful and blessed Merry Christmas, that it is filled with joy and worship and faith and praise and happiness, that you have time with your family in whatever format's available, whether it's online or phone calls or in person. Um, and it, it's a prayer that you celebrate and enjoy the time together. Um, it's our anniversary, by the way, our 29th anniversary on the 28th of December for Joey and I. and so. Um, also, we'll be celebrating that as well, and um, I hope it's a blessed year for all of you and as special to you as it will be to us. Well, the, my Christmas wish also probably is my New Year's wish. I, I, what, I, what really bothers me about what we're doing, the series season that we're in now, 
is that we don't have a personal connection hardly with anybody. I mean, you walk into a store and, and, and as you're walking down the hall aisles of the store, if you see someone in the aisle, you take a different aisle. You know, the six feet of, of connection, no connection is really bothers me. I'm, I'm more of a, you know, I'm a, I guess you call me a huggy. <laughs> I like to hug people. I like to touch people. I like to have that personal connection with people. And uh, we've lost that. A and I'm, I'm hoping for my New Year's, I guess, my New Year's Christmas or Christmas wish, whatever we have, would be that we could get back to that. I'm afraid, I'm really afraid that we have lost some of that. We've lost that personal connection that we had prior to COVID. And I hope we go back to it. I'm uh, Tom Davis. I'm the current president of Greenville Golden K Kiwanis, and I guess I uh, wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, blessings throughout the next year. Um, if I could have one Christmas wish, it would be to end this COVID thing. I know a lot of people are probably saying that, but it is, it, it's just become, I mean, it, it's, it stopped our way of life. And so if we could get rid of COVID and move forward and return to a sense of normalcy, that would be the best Christmas gift ever. Hi, I'm Demetrius Ligon, superintendent with Greenville ISD, and I wanna wish you all a, an extremely Merry Christmas. Um, be safe, enjoy yourselves, and remember Jesus is the reason for the season. Merry Christmas, everybody. You know, I've, I've had the opportunity to think about that question because I've seen it for a while now. My one Christmas wish. I, I would say, and, and I've really struggled with this one because everybody, a lot of people I'm sure are saying that, you know, well, we don't want COVID to be around anymore or something like that. That's, that's, that's a given. Uh, we need to learn how to live with that. And we'll figure that out one day. But the biggest wish I think that anybody could have, and it's not... I would say it's not even isolated to Christmas, but it's year round that people would come to know Jesus. It, it's, of course, it's why I do many of the things in my life that I do. And it's kind of the driving force behind the church. It's the driving force behind Christianity today. And it's the driving force behind pastors everywhere. So I would say I don't have a Christmas wish. I have a life wish. And that's for people to come to Jesus. I'm John, pastor at Calvary Chapel here in Greenville, Texas. And from all of us to all of you, have a Merry Christmas. Wow, if I could have one Christmas wish, after this year we've all had, I would just wish that we could all be kind to each other, that we could not be divided, and that we all just come together because there's something so much greater than any political party or president or election or anything to me that binds the bulk of us together. And if we could focus on that, Wow, what an incredible 2021 we will all have. I'm Kevin Banks with the City of Greenville, and I want to wish all of you a wonderful, happy holiday season. Very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. May it be wonderful and blessed. My Christmas wish would be that everyone would love everyone so much that there would be no room for any hate or jealousy or greed or anything, that the love would just fill every space. That's my wish. So I'm Lori Cope, Casa for Hunt County. I'm wishing everyone a very Merry Christmas. I told you I was gonna get emotional. <laughs> Honestly, because of the recent developments and news is to be here next year for Christmas. Um, for my grandchildren's salvation, to know that they're going to be there with me someday. Heaven is real. And I would love to know that they're gonna be there with me. So my Christmas wish is guaranteed salvation for those that I love, so that I get to see them again. That's it. My name is Renee Francie, and I would love to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.
My Christmas wish might be to retry 2020 again, but really the my Christmas wish would be to uh, end all racism and uh, try to accomplish more peace in our community, in our state, in our country. It's my answer, but yeah, world peace, that's basically, that's I can't really think want. of anything else, especially now that we right. need more than world peace. I'm Randy with Henley Auto Supply. And I'm Gina with Henley Auto Supply. And we want to wish everyone a very, very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Okay, so my Christmas wish is a return to common sense. I just wish that um, that those just had not become dirty words. <laughs> you know, I, I think we need to get back to thinking for ourselves and not letting uh, social media think for us and to, um, again, use forbearance and find out the truth behind things before we jump in with both feet and always, always have the other person's best interest at heart before we make a pronouncement or, or jump on the bandwagon. So common sense is my wish for everybody. Hi, I'm CJ Crawford, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas this season. That everybody would come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and they would um, celebrate His life and um, know that the Lord has an awesome plan for their life and to be with Him for eternity. Hi, my name is Kim Chandler with Hope Changes Everything, and I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. One Christmas wish. What would we wish for if we had one wish ever? Um, normalcy. And I don't mean that just in this past year, but just a normal, calm, enjoying celebration of Jesus' birth. Hi, I'm Heather Prather from The Hometowner, and we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To end this COVID-19 pandemic, now. Hi, I'm John Turner with Disabled American Veterans, Chapter 81 in Greenville, Texas. And I'd like to wish everyone a very, very merry and safe Christmas. My one Christmas wish is that every child receives a toy for Christmas and feels joy. Hi, I'm Tiffany Chapman with Quinlan Independent School District and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And thank you for all of the blessings that we've had this year. Thank you from all of us at Coffee, Tea, Friendly, and Me. Friendly, myself, the producer, our sound, and all the people that make this show possible. Coffee, Tea, Friendly, and Me, sponsored by Hunt Regional Healthcare, also called Hunt Regional Proactive Care, and you can find them at huntregional.org. And don't forget to go by Discount Wheel and Tire with Valvoline Express. I don't change my own oil, and I know you don't either. We're here to make Hunt County a friendly place, and we're so glad that you're here to do it with us. Merry, Merry Christmas. Talk to me. I know exactly what I want to say. He's totally going to put that on there and mess me up. <laughs> Hello. 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 Are you ready? I don't know. You look great. Do I? Is it better with your knees right? I don't know. You look weird whenever you have them. You've put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. No? You've heard this before? I hope not. Ah! <laughs> Okay, ready?